Fantastic. Well, first I want to say congratulations on celebrating 40 years of Soul Train. When, when creating the show, did you even imagine um, how iconic it is in American history? Did you imagine it be that way? Yeah, I had flashes of imagination that told me that, but just short flashes. It's been a, a, a fun career and uh, it's not not it's not not that often that that, uh, that that people get to do something they love for a living you know and uh, that that's what that's what ended up happening to me and, and uh, I, lo I loved uh, every minute of it how do you think uh, so train shaped and changed the music industry as a whole and entertainment as a whole for African Americans? Well, I, would, I wouldn't give it that much credit. Uh, um, I, I think uh, Soul Train was a, was a response, uh, um, was a mirror, if you will. Um, not, not like Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror, but it was it was a mirror that uh, reflected what was happening in soul music on a constant basis. That's the only way I can explain it. But we didn't we didn't affect how what was happening in in music. We we just we reacted to it and we we tried to to. Uh, demonstrated for television. I don't think I have a fondest me memory. I just have many fond memories. My, my fondest memories are, you know, the day uh, uh, when, when we were just uh, kind of uh, uh, scratching the, the surface and trying to build uh, an important show. The day uh, Artists like Stevie Wonder walked walked in the door, and and Smokey Robinson and James Brown and Aretha Franklin. As as uh, we started to um, gain the approval of, of stars of that caliber, uh, of, of of that caliber. I'm sorry. Uh, those became my fondest moments.